uh, greetings everyone i am here to present a case report on asphyxial injuries in a neonate let's start with the few important definitions number 1 is asphyxia asphyxia is a condition caused by interference with respiration or due to lack of oxygen in respired air which cause deprivation of oxygen in body and there is also a collaboration with the failure to eliminate carbon dioxide from the body neonaticide is subgroup of infanticide usually defined as homicide of a newborn child with in the first 28 days of the life strangulation is defined as compression of the neck by a force other than the body weight smothering is the deliberate occlusion of external airways usually by the hands pillows or beddings victim are often those who are unable to resist such as extreme of ages in early childhood or in advanced ages like old a relatively high incidence of neonaticidal thoughts have been found in mentally ill individuals or in unmarried females now i would like to discuss the case report body of a unknown newborn was recovered from the water canal and brought to mortuary for postmortem examination in a tertiary care hospital unknown person telephonically gave information to police regarding the dead body on examination it was found that the body was of a female newborn without late changes of decomposition on history taken from the io he, uh, he uh, gave the history that ki the uh, body was tied with a rope uh, and the free end of the rope was tied with a heavy stone and uh, with the help of swimmers the io take out the body from the water source now on external examination the body was found naked and length of body was 45 cm both eyes and mouth were closed petechial hemorrhage were present in the sclera and conjunctiva of both eyes this was the body a ligature material in form of wet jute drop was present all around the neck in one ply in situ the ligature material was cut open preserved with thread and sealed and handed over to io of the case the inner circumference of the ligature material was 16.5 cm the knot was of slip knot type in form of the loop the free limbs was of length 163 cm having three loops at places and were entangled this was the ligature mark clearly visible on the neck in form of a reddish abrasion a groove of length 16.5 cm with width 3 cm was present all around the neck the ligature mark was present over and below the thyroid cartilage in anterior midline it was going transversely on both sides on neck it was situated 1.5 cm below to right angle of mandible and 2 cm below to anterior uh, below to chin in anterior midline and 1.5 cm below to left of uh, left angle of mandible on posterior midline it was situated 3 cm below to external occipital protuberance the neck circumference was 18 cm on dissection underlying soft tissues and muscles were found acquiesced along with laryngotracheal structures and surrounding to soft tissue were intact with acquiescence or extravasation of blood a reddish abrasion of size or of diameter 0.5 or 1 cm was present over the left ala of nose which was situated 1 cm above to tip of the nose a reddish contusion of size 1 into 1 cm was present over the right side of face situated 3 cm from right angle of mouth and 1 cm above to right side of mandible on dissection underlying soft tissues were found acquiesced on 
uh, examination the bilateral lungs were mottled crepitant margins were rounded and occupying whole of the thoracic cavity on cut section uh, the lungs were congested and blood stained froth was oozed out stomach contained the 10 cc of whitish mucoid material and the mucosa of stomach was pale ossification center of lower end of femur and upper end of tibia has been appeared now after the uh, complete after the autopsy uh, i concluded the uh, cause of death uh, was opined asphyxia as a result of combined effect of smothering and ligature strangulation which is homicidal in manner and sufficient to cause death in ordinary course of nature now let's move to discussion killing of a child can be divided into three main groups neonaticide filicide or infanticide depending on the age of child and the perpetrator of the crime among children homicides are most likely to occur in first year of life in developing countries like india the preference for male infant may lead to sex selective killing neonaticidal mothers are often young unmarried women with unwanted pregnancies despite of social and institutional changes neonaticide persists even in the most socially advanced liberal and prosperous societies in the world the majority of the murders of infant and newborns are by the biological mother now i conclude uh, the my presentation to achieve the goal of a balanced sex ratio and remove the gender based discrimination awareness campaign involving all sections of the society is necessary to change the prevalent social thinking because it's not easy to change overnight the attitude of women even towards female infanticide as they are also surrounded by in laws and neighbors who are pro female infanticide keeping this in view the government has launched a save the girl style campaigns like beti bachao beti padhao and the objectives of which is to lessen the preference for a son by highlighting the achievements of young girls thank you very much